हेलो एवरीवन टुडे टॉपिक इज सेल साइकिल सेल साइकिल इज द कंप्लीट लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ द सेल मींस राइट फ्रॉम द टाइम व्हेन अ सेल इज बोर्न दैट इट इज बर्थ द कंप्लीट ग्रोथ पीरियड एंड अंटिल इट हैज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू सेल साइकिल इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू फेजेस वन इज द इंटरफेस and the other one known as the m is the divisional phase now as the cell is born it enters the interphase interphase was actually known as the resting stage as during this stage the cell is not dividing but it is actually the most active stage because the cell is preparing to divide now during the interphase a well defined nucleus can be seen which has the nuclear membrane nucleolus and the chromatin reticulum interphase is actually the phase between two divisional or the m phases it occupies 75 to 95% of the total cycle during this stage the cell grows all its organelles divide dna duplicates rna protein atp atp synthesis occurs and the microtubules are formed interphase can be divided into three phases growth or gap phase 1 synthetic phase growth or gap phase 2 now as a cell is born it actually enters the g1 stage of the interphase g1 stage occupies 30 to 50% of the cell cycle it is the most variable stage with regard to time taken a cell which is frequently dividing has a smaller g1 stage and a cell which less frequently divides has a larger g1 stage during g1 stage the cell grows organelles divide rna protein and atp synthesis occurs all that are required for the cell to divide are synthesized during this stage then the cell enters the s phase or the synthetic phase which occupies 35 to 40% of the cell cycle now as the cell enters the s phase all that was being synthesized during the g1 stage come to a stop during this stage only dna duplicates as the dna duplication completes the cell will enter the g2 stage now during this stage the con- dna content of the cell in doubles in size dna content in a cell is referred as its c value so when a cell has entered the interphase its dna content is 2c but once it has passed through the synthetic phase it becomes 4c the 2n cell now becomes 4n and also during this stage the centrosome divides means two more pairs of centrioles are formed now after dna has duplicated the cell enters the g2 phase g2 phase is the shortest phase it occupies 10 to 20% of the cell cycle during this stage all that was being synthesized during the g1 stage continue and complete that is rna and protein synthesis occurs microtubules are also formed microtubules are required for the formation of spindle fibers next is the m which is the mitotic or the divisional phase which can be divided into two stages karyokinesis and cytokinesis karyokinesis is division of nucleus 
while cytokinesis is division of cytoplasm. The M phase is divided into four substages that is prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. The various phases of the cell cycle are controlled by regulatory proteins called the cyclin and cyclin dependent kinases which utilize ATP for phosphorylation. There are two main checkpoints in the interface. One is the G1 checkpoint which is present between the G1 and the S stage. This, these are checked by the cyclin CDK complexes and they activate the D1, DNA replication. Second is the G2 checkpoint present between the G2 stage and as the cell enters the mitotic phase, they activate mitosis. A third M checkpoint can also be seen at the end of metaphase at this point. It is known as spindle fibers checkpoint. So when a cell enters the interface, it first enters the G1 stage where the cell grows. In the S phase, DNA duplicates. G2 phase, all that is required is synthesized for cell division and as the cell enters the M phase it gets divided into two daughter cells. Now some cells instead of dividing they get differentiated means they get specialized to perform a particular function then those cells enter the G0 or the quiescent stage. It is in the G1 phase of the cell cycle from which the cell enters the G0 phase. Thank you. Thank you for watching.